Kubuntu is one of those Linux distributions that quietly earns deep respect over time. Not by flashy marketing or radical departures, but by doing something incredibly difficult very well, delivering a powerful, polished, and flexible desktop experience that balances stability, elegance, and user freedom. To understand Kubuntu, you have to understand the philosophy behind it. Kubuntu is an official flavor of Ubuntu that replaces the default GNOME desktop with KDE Plasma, one of the most advanced and customizable desktop environments ever created in the Linux ecosystem. From the moment you boot into Kubuntu, the intention is clear. This is a system designed for users who want control without chaos, beauty without fragility, and performance without sacrificing usability. Kubuntu's roots go back to the early days of Ubuntu itself. When Ubuntu began gaining popularity in the mid-2000s, many users loved its ease of use but wanted an alternative to GNOME. Even at that time, offered a more familiar layout to users coming from Windows with a traditional taskbar, start style application menu, system tray, and deeply configurable system settings. Kubuntu emerged as the answer to that demand, offering Ubuntu's strong base combined with KDE's powerful desktop environment. Over the years, Kubuntu has evolved alongside KDE Plasma, benefiting from massive improvements in performance, aesthetics, and stability. One of the first things people notice about Kubuntu is its visual appeal. KDE Plasma is known for being sleek, modern, and highly polished. Animations are smooth, transitions feel natural, and the desktop looks professional without feeling heavy or bloated. Kubuntu ships with carefully selected default themes that show off Plasma's strengths without overwhelming new users. The Breeze theme, developed by the KDE team, offers a clean, airy look that adapts well to both light and dark modes. Fonts are crisp, spacing is thoughtful, and everything feels intentionally designed. At the same time, Kubuntu never locks you into its defaults. Nearly every visual element can be changed, from window decorations and icons to panel layouts and desktop effects. Customization in Kubuntu is deep enough to satisfy even the most obsessive tweakers. You can move panels to any edge of the screen, resize them, add widgets, create multiple panels, or remove them entirely. The application launcher itself can be replaced with alternatives that mimic Windows, Mac OS, or entirely original designs. Window behavior can be customized down to how windows snap, how they animate, and how they behave when focused or unfocused. Virtual desktops and activities offer powerful workflows for users who like to separate tasks into different workspaces. Unlike some desktops where customization feels bolted on or fragile, KDE Plasma integrates these options directly into the system settings making exploration feel safe and reversible. But Kubuntu is not just about looks. Beneath the surface lies the same solid foundation that makes Ubuntu one of the most widely used Linux distributions in the world. Kubuntu uses Ubuntu's repositories, meaning you get access to a massive library of software that is tested, documented, and actively maintained. The Ubuntu base also means excellent hardware support out of the box. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, printers, touchpads, and graphics cards tend to work with minimal or no configuration, especially on common laptops and desktops. This is one of Kubuntu's biggest strengths. It gives you the power and flexibility of KDE without forcing you to fight the system just to get basic functionality working. Kubuntu follows Ubuntu's release cycle, which includes regular six-month releases and long-term support versions every two years. The long-term support releases known as LTS, are particularly important for users who prioritize stability. An LTS version of Kubuntu is supported for several years with security updates and critical bug fixes. This makes Kubuntu a strong choice for work machines, production systems, and users who do not want to reinstall or upgrade frequently. At the same time, users who want newer features can choose the regular releases and enjoy more up-to-date versions of KDE Plasma and other software. Performance is an area where Kubuntu often surprises people. KDE Plasma once had a reputation for being heavy or resource hungry, but that reputation is badly outdated. Modern Plasma is efficient, fast, and scalable. Kubuntu runs smoothly on a wide range of hardware, from powerful workstations to modest laptops. Memory usage is competitive with many lighter desktops, especially when idle, and responsiveness is excellent. Animations are hardware accelerated, making the desktop feel fluid even under load. For users with older hardware, Kubuntu still offers enough flexibility to disable effects or reduce visual overhead, allowing the system to adapt to the machine rather than forcing the machine to adapt to the system. 
The default software selection in Kubuntu is another area where the distribution shines. Instead of forcing a minimal or bare-bones setup, Kubuntu provides a well-rounded set of applications that are ready for everyday use. You get a capable web browser, an office suite, media players, file management tools, and system utilities out of the box. Most of these applications are part of the KDE ecosystem, which means they share a consistent look and feel and integrate well with the desktop. Applications like Dolphin, the KDE file manager, offer powerful features such as split views, network browsing, and advanced file previews, all while remaining intuitive for new users. System configuration is handled primarily through KDE system settings, which is one of the most comprehensive control centers available in any desktop operating system. Instead of scattering options across multiple tools, Kubuntu centralizes nearly all configuration into one place. Display settings, power management, input devices, user accounts, accessibility options, and appearance are all accessible through a clean, searchable interface. For users coming from Windows or Mac OS, this can feel refreshing, as it reduces the frustration of hunting for obscure settings buried deep in the system. Kubuntu also excels at multitasking and productivity. Gday Plasma includes features specifically designed for users who do real work on their machines. Activities allow you to create separate environments for different tasks, such as work, study, or entertainment, each with its own widgets, wallpaper, and window layout. Virtual desktops are easy to manage and highly configurable, making it simple to organize multiple applications across different environments. Window tiling, snapping, and keyboard shortcuts can be customized extensively, allowing power users to build workflows that rival or even surpass those found on specialized tiling window managers. Software management in Kubuntu is flexible and user-friendly. The Graphical Software Center provides access to thousands of applications, making it easy for beginners to install software without touching the command line. At the same time, more experienced users can rely on the traditional package manager through the terminal, giving them full control over installations, updates, and system maintenance. Kubuntu also supports modern package formats like Snap and Flatpak, allowing users to install applications from multiple sources while maintaining system stability. If you want the latest version of an application without affecting core system libraries, these formats provide a convenient solution. One of the most underrated strengths of Kubuntu is its community. Because it is built on Ubuntu, Kubuntu benefits from one of the largest and most active Linux communities in the world. Documentation, tutorials, forums, and troubleshooting guides are widely available. If you run into a problem, Chances are someone else has encountered it before and documented a solution. At the same time, the KDE community adds another layer of support, developers and contributors who continuously improve the desktop environment and applications. This dual community advantage makes Kubuntu particularly welcoming for users who are new to Linux but want room to grow. Security and reliability are not afterthoughts in Kubuntu. Ubuntu's security team provides timely updates for vulnerabilities and the underlying system benefits from Linux's strong permission model. Regular updates are easy to apply and the system is designed to minimize disruptions. Kubuntu does not force updates in the background or reboot prompts at inconvenient times, giving users control over when and how they maintain their system. This balance between security and user autonomy is one of Linux's defining strengths and Kubuntu embraces it fully. Kubuntu is also an excellent choice for developers and technical users. The Ubuntu base means access to powerful development tools, programming languages, and libraries. KDE's tools integrate well with development workflows, offering advanced text editors, terminals, and IDEs that fit naturally into the desktop. Whether you're writing code, managing servers, designing interfaces, or working with data, Kubuntu provides a flexible environment that can be shaped around your needs rather than dictating how you should work. For users transitioning from Windows, Kubuntu offers a gentle learning curve. The desktop layout feels familiar, reducing the initial culture shock that some users experience when switching to Linux. File management, application menus, and system notifications behave in ways that make sense to Windows users while still offering the advantages of Linux under the hood. At the same time, Kubuntu avoids being a mere imitation. It respects user intelligence by providing powerful features without hiding complexity behind artificial limitations. Multimedia support in Kubuntu is strong. With built-in tools for audio and video playback, media management, and device integration, sound settings are flexible. Allowing users to manage multiple input and output devices is hardware acceleration works well for most modern graphics cards, and users can choose between open source, 
and proprietary drivers depending on their needs. Creative users who work with audio, video, or graphics will appreciate the responsiveness of KDE Plasma and the availability of professional-grade software in Ubuntu's repositories. Long-term use is where Kubuntu truly proves itself. As days turn into weeks and months, the system remains stable, consistent, and dependable. Crashes are rare, updates are predictable, and the desktop environment does not degrade over time. Kubuntu feels like a system that respects your time and effort, rewarding you with reliability rather than constant maintenance. This makes it especially appealing for users who want a daily driver operating system rather than an experimental playground. Kubuntu also plays an important role in demonstrating what Linux desktops can be. It challenges the outdated narrative that Linux is only for servers or advanced users. Kubuntu shows that a free and open source operating system can be beautiful, user-friendly, and powerful all at once. It proves that choice and consistency do not have to be opposite, and that customization does not inherently mean instability or complexity in a world where operating systems increasingly try to dictate how users should interact with their machines, Kubuntu stands as an alternative. It puts control back into the hands of the user without demanding technical expertise as an entry fee. You can use Kubuntu at a surface level and be perfectly productive. Or you can dive deep and shape every aspect of the system to your liking. Few operating systems offer that range of possibilities without collapsing under their own weight. As KDE Plasma continues to evolve and Ubuntu continues to refine its base, Kubuntu remains a compelling choice for anyone who wants a desktop operating system that grows with them. It is suitable for beginners who want a smooth entry into Linux, professionals who need a stable and capable work environment, and enthusiasts who enjoy fine-tuning their systems. Kubuntu does not try to be everything to everyone, yet somehow manages to offer enough flexibility that users from wildly different backgrounds can all feel at home. In the end, Kubuntu is less about flashy features and more about balance. It balances aesthetics and performance, simplicity and power, stability and innovation. It does not shout for attention, but it rewards those who give it a chance. For many users, Kubuntu becomes not just an operating system, but a reliable companion in daily computing quietly doing its job while empowering its users to do theirs.